Welcome to Ozarks Fox News at 9 tonight. I'm John Adams. And I'm Jennifer Abreu. We begin tonight with breaking news. An 11 year old girl has been found safe after she went missing this afternoon in Webster County. Our Colin Lingo is live tonight in Fordland where that search ended less than an hour ago. Colin. Yeah, John, Jen, I'm in Fordland, but I'm not just in Fordland. I'm in a very specific spot in Fordland, a school bus stop. In fact, it's the school bus stop of the 11 year old girl that deputies have been looking for tonight. And while no, it's not exactly the front steps of her house, we're told it's pretty close to where she lives, a little bit of a walk, but it's such a small amount of space that deputies tonight were having trouble believing that someone could have simply gotten lost. So they started thinking of alternatives. Was it foul play? Well, that was considered at one point, but it was discovered probably 20 or 30 minutes ago that instead the little girl was hiding and had been since about 345 this afternoon when she got off the bus. She ventured, we're told, down this dirt road behind me. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the road we watched her come up a minute ago when deputies found her with the help of a hound. They went down there and found her in a brush pile. They had been interviewing neighbors around here and getting some help from some civilians who had formed search parties. That's about all the information we know about when she went missing and now when she was found. We're obviously going to be following up and getting as much information as we can for you guys throughout the night. Until then, Colin Lingo, Ozarks First. Thank you so much, Colin. This is actually the third missing child that has been found in Missouri so far this week already. The other two were parental kidnapping cases involving boys from Springfield and one in Bourbon, Missouri. Another breaking news story to tell you about tonight. Billings police are searching for a 57 year old man who went missing from Springfield today. Lieutenant Bruce Beelan with the Billings Police Department says this man that you see right there on the screen, Mark Allen Mitchell, went missing this morning after he was last seen pumping gas at the come and go at Republic Road near Campbell Street. Lieutenant Beelan says that Mitchell's truck is also missing. It's an early 2000s maroon Dodge Ram with a brush guard and a chrome fuel tank in the bed of the truck. Lieutenant Beelan also says Mitchell's cell phone was found in the middle of Highway 60 in Billings today. Beelan is very concerned, saying this is unlike Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, this is a, a farm family from uh, down in Highlandville area. No medical history, no problems like this at all. Um, he was on his way back to meet a family member there in Springfield. We are very concerned about Mr. Mitchell. And Mitchell is the father-in-law of clever mayor Jared King. Anyone with information should call law enforcement immediately. We have some new information for you tonight at 9. A Rogersville teacher has been arrested by the FBI and charged with receiving and distributing child pornography. Investigators say the teacher secretly filmed a teenager using the bathroom. Our Frances Lynn reviewed the court documents and joins us now in the studio to tell us more. Frances, what did you find out today? Jen and John, FBI agents say 50-year-old Matthew McCroskey was arrested last night in his house and then booked into the Greene County Jail. According to the Highway Patrol, troopers have been investigating McCroskey since November after he allegedly shared very graphic pornographic images of underage girls over the Internet. Several other videos and photos that, quote, indicate an interest in children were also found on his computer. When interviewed by police, McCroskey denied searching for child porn, but admitted that he sometimes receives images. The court documents also say McCroskey set up several hidden cameras inside his home and in his bathroom. Agents found video of a female approximately 17 to 18 years old using that bathroom from different angles. It appears she didn't know she was being recorded. Court records indicate McCroskey claims the cameras were to monitor if his babysitter was bringing her boyfriend to the house. McCroskey taught English and journalism at the high school for 14 years and worked on the yearbook as well. According to his LinkedIn profile, he's also a part-time professor at MSU. A letter was sent out to parents today to inform them what happened. McCroskey is still in the Greene County Jail right now. The Rogersville School District is cooperating with law enforcement on the investigation. We don't have any more information at this time, but we'll continue following the story as more information becomes available. <laughs> Happening around the region now, a Wichita police officer is recovering and a 29 year old suspect is in serious condition after a shooting today in downtown Wichita.
Officers and U.S. Marshals were trying to arrest the man on a felony warrant for aggravated assault. When they tried to take him into custody, he tried to get away with his car, at one point hitting an officer. Fellow deputies opened fire on the vehicle and hit the suspect multiple times. A passenger who was in the car with the suspect was taken in for questioning. Anger and outrage from many campfire survivors in California after President Trump tweets about cutting off FEMA aid to the state. As a citizen, as a veteran, I'm just appalled at his statement that he's just going to basically make us all be homeless again. I'm not going to vote for him again, no. When did you make that decision? Uh, the final straw was this last tweet that he's going to stop funding to FEMA. Hundreds of survivors were issued a FEMA trailer after losing their homes due to those fires. On Wednesday, the president tweeted that billions of federal dollars were sent to California for forest fires, which he claims could have been prevented by proper forest management. He is now threatening to cut off that FEMA aid unless California makes some drastic changes. Binge drinking is a serious problem on college campuses. And now we're hearing more and more about drunkorexia. Young people limiting calories for food to save calories for alcohol. But doctors and dietitians are warning about the health risks. By having an empty stomach, basically what you're doing is you're consuming perhaps alcohol that is going to make you drunker. Uh, the alcohol effects are going to last longer. Uh, there could be dehydration, again, because you have no other calories. So when you begin to add that pattern, basically your metabolism gets hugely compromised. You become to develop also, a, you know, very strange eating habits. A recent study found just over half of American college students surveyed exhibited this behavior. It's particularly common among young women. While it's not a medically classified eating disorder, experts say it's dangerous. They say saving calories for alcohol won't necessarily help you lose weight. Skipping just one meal can slow your metabolism and cause any food you do eat with alcohol to get stored as fat.